Okay, uh, welcome to uh, another tutorial on uh, C Sharp programming. Uh, in in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about the increment and decrement operators. Um, these operators are used to uh, increase or decrease a value by uh, an integer value by a, a value of one. Um, there's a couple different ways of using it. We have the prefix incrementer, and that uh, adds to the 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 value of the variable um, prior to its use. And then uh, we have the post increment, um, which is adds to it after it's used. And we'll we'll see example of this later. And, and it's the same thing for the decrementer. So it subtracts uh, before or after it's used. And to show how this works. I have uh, three variables here, uh, integer variables here, x, y, and z. And you can see x is, x is equal to 7 here, y is equal to 4. And down here, I, I just simply put x plus plus, and that's going to increment x by, by 1. So it's going to add 1 to x. And here it's going to subtract 1 from y. So y minus minus, and that decrement subtracts 1 from y. If I then uh, print these to the screen here, we'll see x as 8 and y as 3. Okay? So remember, x, x here is uh, 8 and y is 3. Um, here, and this is where the, the, it makes a difference whether you do post or pre increment, uh, in this case here we have z equal to x plus plus. So what this is going to do is going to take the the uh, current value of x, assign it to z, and then increment x. Okay, so it makes z equal to x and then increments x. And if we write this out, we will see that z is now equal to 8. Remember, x was equal to 8 up here. So z is equal to 8, and x is equal to 9. So they'll be one off. Now here, uh, we come down and we make z now equal to uh, a pre-decrement y. And what this is going to do is it's, it's going to decrement y first and then assign it to z. And so it's going to subtract 1 from y and then make, make z equal to that new value of y. And so down here, z and y will both be the same number. And in this case, since uh, it was it went down from four to three here, and then went down one more, they'll both be equal to two here. So up here, x and y should be remember eight and three, and then we should see uh, z equal to eight and x equal to nine, and then we should see two and two down here. And when we run this code, it looks like this, and just uh, just like I described. So first. Yeah, 7 to 4, like I said, and then 8 and 9, um, and then Y is 3 go before that, um, and then we, we decrement the Y, and then both uh, Z and Y are 2. And that's it. Um, so again, we have the uh, incrementer and decrementer. You, it makes a little bit of a difference if you use it before or after, uh, especially if you're going to use that value. Um, if you just um, have a single line, it doesn't make any difference whether it's a pre uh, or a post. Uh, but if you're going to assign it to another value or if you're going to use it in some kind of logic or something, it may make a difference whether it's a pre or post. So just, just be aware if you put the symbols before, it uh, changes the value first. And if you put the symbols after, it changes the value after. And that's all there is to it. Thanks a lot.